And now, from Friday, September 24, 2010, it's the Price is Right Price Game Recap for Episode A. And the pricing games played were the following. Cover Up, Plinko, Range Game, Coming or Going, Pass the Buck, and Race Game. The first contestant was Marissa. She played Cover Up for Mazda 3. The wrong price was 13439 when she covered up the wrong number, she put a price of $21,690. That wasn't the price of the car, but she got the first and second numbers correct, the two and the one to keep on playing. When she changed the third, fourth, and fifth numbers, she put a new price of $21,325. That wasn't the price of the car either, but she did get the third and fifth numbers correct to keep on playing, the three and the five. For the fourth number, she changed it to a zero instead of a six or a seven to make the price twenty one thousand three oh five. Now this was it for her. Either she got it right or she didn't. The actual retail price twenty one thousand three hundred seventy five. Yeah, she was pretty quick on making those changes. She's a marathon runner, we found out, so that's why she moved fast in that game. Nash played Plinko, and to go along with his one free chip, he won himself three more for a total of four. In his first chip, he got zero. For his second chip, he got $10,000. For the third chip, he got 500 And for the fourth chip, he got 1000 for a grand total of $11,500. Andrew, representing the United States Navy, played range game for a snowmobile. He froze the $150 range between about $64.35 and $65.85. Well, he should have let the $150 range go a little bit higher. It was $6,699. Jamila played coming or going for a trip to London. She chose the coming price of 5213 over the going price 3125 Drew said he was a little bit worried because the trip was for four nights. And I got to be honest, I really thought 5213 was right, but it was 3125 Jamila said they were kidding about that price after Drew asked, are you kidding me? I don't blame her. I really thought she had the trip. Son of a gun? Alright, Ryan played Pass the Buck for a 1957 vintage Chevrolet Bel Air. Another classic car. Trying to be one on the prices right. To go along with this one free pick, he got two more picks by passing the buck to the orange juice at $299, making it $399 instead of the croutons. It was the orange juice. The croutons were $1.99, by the way. And he passed the buck to the ice cream, making it $4.49 instead of $3.49, and not to the saran wrap at $1.49. $4.49 was right for the ice cream. All right, he chose number three first. Behind it, $1,000. He went on. He chose number four next. Behind it, lose everything. Oh. Well, he was down to his final pick. He chose number two. Behind number two was the car! He won a 1957 vintage Chevrolet Bel Air. And I, I think only one word can describe that win. I couldn't agree with you more, Miz. And finally, Heather played race games for a motor scooter, sofa, an exercise bike, and a popcorn cart. In her first attempt of placing the prices on the prizes, when she put them on, she got none of them right. So when she made a change, she got two of them right in her second attempt. She tried to make another change, but time ran out on her. 
the prizes she got right were the motor scooter and the exercise bike. So, not too bad there. So, we had Pass the Buck as the big win. We gave away a motor scooter and an exercise bike in race game and a total of twelve thousand five hundred dollars eleven thousand five hundred in Plinko and one thousand won in the first showcase showdown by Nash who became the big showcase winner of that episode and seeing as he won mostly cash this little snippet of a song by I Fight Dragons is dedicated to him Congratulations, Nash. I'll be back with episode B, folks.